friends, my name is Alex Karekis, and I want to welcome you to the mysteries of Monterey, California, through my Finding Lost Civilization series. In this segment, we're going to go on a journey along the Big Sur coast here in Monterey in search of the ancient Rumson Indian village of Pichai. Now in 1770, when the Spanish first arrived here in the Monterey Peninsula and encountered the Rumson Indians, they believed that the Rumsons were Stone Age people. And so, as you can imagine, the Spanish spent very little time learning about the Rumson Indian natives, about their history, about their culture, about their language, and even where they actually lived. And the first thing that the Franciscan friars set about doing was to Christianize these people and to change their way of life in a mind's eyes of what the Spanish believed that civilized people should live like. And therefore, much of the history of the Rumson Indians has been lost in time. However, we do have two clues from old Carmel Mission records that show that the Rumson Indian village of Pichai was located in a small canyon of redwoods. Also that it was located south from the Carmel Mission along the coast approximately six leagues away, which is about 15 miles. And so this should be a very interesting journey that we are about to embark on. We are going to try to locate the ancient village of Pichai, and this should be an interesting journey. We are going to travel south along the coast from the Carmel Mission, approximately 12 to 15 miles. We are going to search for signs of where the ancient village of Pichai used to be. But aside from the clues, we must find evidence of habitation. These clues mean nothing unless we actually find some symbols, some signs to show us that people once lived there. So come, this should be a fun journey. Let us try to find the ancient village of Pichai. This is fantastic. About six leagues south from the Carmel Mission along the Big Sur coast, I found this beautiful, this wonderful Redwood Canyon. But aside from finding this Redwood Canyon, I also found this wonderful fresh water stream. Water is a source of life. <laughs> so this is a real bonus. We have a good chance now with this Redwood 
canyon, this redwood forest, and this wonderful stream leading itself into the Pacific, are finding signs of life. Now, as I said, we need to find signs of life to indicate that people lived in this area. So this is going to be a fun and exciting journey. Let's continue our trek. Friends, this is wonderful. As I follow the stream towards the Pacific, I encountered this large boulder. This boulder contains two grinding mortars. These mortars were used to prepare food. We have found our evidence of ancient life. A corner of plant life will be put inside this mortar, and with a large stone, a large cylindrical type stone, they would pound the food. They would grind it into a flour. Well, this is fantastic. Let's continue our journey and see if we can find other signs of ancient life here. After examining these two ancient grinding mortars, I began to examine the area. I looked up on the hillside, which is only about 20 feet away from these grinding mortars. And I noticed the remnants of shells and realized that this whole area was used as a food processing site. Before us, we have the remnants of the food that was processed by the ancient. Look at this. Right over here, we have abalone, an abalone shell. The fantastic thing is this abalone shell was not bought in a store. This was actually processed by an ancient Rumson Indians hundreds, if not thousands, of years ago. These shells are brought to the surface by burrowing animals. Look at this, here's an, oh my goodness, look at this over here, look at this. Oh my goodness, this is an ancient implement. This is a pestle. Look how it fits the hand perfectly. They use this implement right here to break open the abalone and the shells. This is an ancient tool. This is the fantastic thing about these shell midden sites. Sometimes the implements used to process the food was discarded and left behind. Friends, adjacent to the stream, I found this large boulder. And I saw that there was a pocket here filled with plant life. So I decided that I'm going to clear it to see if it actually contains an ancient grinding mortar. Before us, we have that large boulder that contains the two mortars. But if we follow the stream, we will notice another large boulder to our immediate front, which also seems to be a food preparation area. So let's go over there and take a look. And you can see a little bit of sand here. So that indicates there's a depression here forming on this boulder. Now I'm going to show you over here. This is kind of a rough surface. And right over here, Right over here, it's starting to become smooth. So what I'm going to do is clear out this area, and we're going to take a look to see if this is what they refer to as more of a grinding slick. Over there in a the mortar, they use the pounding action. And on a place like this, they would use an action this way. They would use a stone, which in Mexico they call a matate, but it would be ground this way. So this area right here will probably be clear, but I'm going to get a brush. I'm going to get a a tree branch and cleared off and let's take a look at it. Okay, look at this. As I'm cleaning this here, this area, the sand, you can actually see the outline right over here. This is the outline of where the grinding grinding area was. It's interesting how just moving the sand can show you. Look at this right over here. Right over here. Okay. You can actually see the configuration of the grinding area, okay? So what I'm going to do is finish cleaning it off 
but I can actually see this outline right over here. I can actually see a differentiation right over here. So let me continue clearing and let's see how it looks after I pour a little water on it. Well this is really great. I've taken some water and look, okay, here's the boulder. Now if you look at this boulder, it has a dark black color. But this dark coloring here is actually plant life, okay? It's organic material, a form of lichen or lichen. Okay, now right over here, look at this. This is where the sandy area was, okay? This is where the sandy area is. And you'll notice right here is the configuration of where the grinding occurred. Now what's fantastic about this is you can see the difference in color, okay? And what has happened? In a grinding action, okay, the boulder has been smoothed out really, really fine grain, whereas over here, it's rough, okay? And this is where the plants can anchor themselves. This has been ground down to such a fine grain that there's nowhere for the plant life to actually anchor itself. This is really a fabulous little discovery. Friends, this is incredible. Our first discovery was here at this large boulder where we found two mortars. And then across from this boulder, we found another large boulder where food was also prepared. And then we examined the area. And as I walked under this fantastic redwood tree, I came across what we call a shellman site. This is where the food was processed. So we found evidence of life here. Look at this. These are food items processed by the ancient Rumsons. And in this shellman site, we found this pestle. It was used to break open the shell. It fits the hand perfectly and it's smooth. Oh my goodness, this has been a fantastic discovery. But then again, we went back to the stream where I saw that large boulder here directly to our front which was covered with plant life. When I removed the plants covering the boulder, we discovered that it is also an ancient food processing boulder. Look at this. This here is the mortar area. Here is an area that's also smooth, which was used to break open the item and then crushed over here. Here's another preparation area. And over here, and over here. My goodness, this is really fantastic, friends. And so my friends, at the small little spot, we found six pieces of evidence to show us that ancient life once existed here. We're going to follow the stream as it tumbles into the Pacific to see what other kind of wonders behold us. My goodness, I'm very excited. I think we're on the right track. at this spot where the stream tumbles into the Pacific Ocean, I was astounded by its beauty. 
and as I gazed upon the Pacific, I felt a great sense of peace and joy within myself. I felt as if I was in heaven on earth. This is truly a spiritual place. Thank you.